Hey everybody, it's Friday. It's time for Facebook Live. And this week we are doing Halloween treats. I am full on Halloween this week. So I hope you, um, if you're watching in the replay, I hope that you enjoy them. All of you who are joining me live, welcome. Thank you for finding me. It is Friday, yay. And I have to just say that I am not as prepared as I like to be. Um, usually I pre-record clean recordings of all of these and that didn't happen. So um, hopefully today we will be mostly successful. <laughs> hi Susan, hi Gina, hi Lisa. Thanks for joining me today. I went and did a little shopping this morning instead of pre-recording the videos. I treated myself over at TJ Maxx with some Halloween decorations. So hopefully today we'll go um, as planned. Hi Stacy, thanks for joining me. Okay, so it looks like I am in the right place. Let's see, I'm gonna share myself over to my page and make sure, do, 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 right place. And I'm gonna open it so I can see your comments. Hey everybody, good to see you today. Um, today all three projects feature the Wonderfully Wicked bundle from the 2019 Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog. And uh, oh, I'm so jealous. Karen, is that who just said that? Karen with a super cool, cool in Iowa. Oh, I won't even tell you. Usually, so my birthday's tomorrow. Usually my birthday is the signal for the first cool front down here in South Texas. The first wave of cooler air. I won't say cold, but cooler, you know, where the humidity kind of goes away and we get a little taste of it, but it's nowhere in sight. So I'm a little bummed. We, they're saying two more weeks of 99, 98 degrees, um, heat index. They kept saying it's cooler. It's 95. And I'm like, no, that's not cooler. <laughs> so I'm jealous of all of you up North who are having your beautiful fall weather super jealous and I'm sure you're more in the Halloween mood than I am. Thank you, Karen. Um, so today, one wick, I keep calling it wa wickedly wonderful, but no, it's wonderfully wicked. I'm going to call it the wrong thing forever. So, but anyway, I think you know um, what it's called. It's over on page 55 of the 2019 Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog right here. And it's the, these stamps and this little tiny little die set. It just has one big die and a tiny little spider. And it's priced only at $29.50 for the bundle. That's a very low price bundle for Stampin' Up! So I think it's well worth the, um, the purchase, especially at that price. Um, okay, so you guys, I'm going to turn the camera around because, well, let's see, maybe I'll tell you, we'll do prizes first and then I'll turn you around and show you the new class. Some of you have already seen it, but some of you haven't because I just finished uploading the video. Um, every week I give away two prizes. Um, all you have to do is share the video on Facebook and you're entered into a random drawing for prizes. So last week the prizes are, were boo to you two bundles and Renee Roberts and Sherry Turner are the winners. I believe, I know I have yours, Renee. Renee is in my downline. Um, Sherry, I think I have yours, but if you'll just message or email me your address, I'll get that, those prizes out to you guys um, tomorrow or Monday. Thank you so much for sharing the video. This week, I've got two hostess stamp sets, Holiday Haul, which is a super cute host stamp set that you can only get um, when you spend either over $150 or if you host a workshop that is over $150. Uh, so um, holiday haul, so cute. All you have to do to enter to win is share the video and I'll pick a winner next week. Did I see Susie on here? Susie is a little birthday fairy. She dropped off a birthday present on my porch today when I wasn't looking. And Susie, I haven't opened it yet. I'm saving it. I'm trying to save save all my goodies to one time because you know when you get older, there's not a lot of fun hoopla on your birthday, right? So I'm trying to save it. Um, funny story. I you know guys when you you probably know when you get to a certain age, you can't really think of anything necessarily that you want for your birthday. And the same with me every year. So I suggested. Um, to my mom that I wanted an air fryer. Have you guys seen these air fryers? 
I'm kind of intrigued by them, right? Fries your food without frying it. So I mentioned it to my mom. And then my husband wanted to know what I wanted, so I mentioned that to him too. But I said, I mentioned it to my mom. Y'all need to coordinate. Well, lo and behold, <laughs> two giant air fryers have shown up here at the house um, this week. They did not coordinate. And it's my husband's fault, not my mom's, because she did. She knew first. But that's okay, right? It's the thought. And I'm going to try it, and we'll see. So, Deborah, you guys have an air fryer? I don't know. I know nothing about it. I just know that we do a lot of baking things in the oven to try to make them, you know, be a healthy kind of fried, but they're never crispy. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'll let you guys know. Anyway, Susie, thank you very much. And I know that I have several things waiting for me at my mailbox. I get a little email every day from the postal service that says what's coming. And I have several things in my mailbox waiting for me from uh, my downline. So you guys, thank you. I'm going to show you next week what I get birthday cards in the mail. Okay, let's see. So we talked about prizes. Let's talk about the new class to go. I'm going to flip you guys around. And let's see. Ooh, Kathy and Debbie, you both have an air fryer. Okay. Well, I don't know. I don't want to, you know, when you fry food in your house, I'm going to see if I can zoom in. Uh-oh. Nope, nope, nope. That's not what we wanted. Nope. I'm afraid to mess around with it too much. I want to zoom in a bit. It looks like the camera's really far away from the table, but it's not. It's like 18 inches to maybe two feet. All right, let's see. Close your eyes. No, it's not letting me zoom in. Okay, well anyway, that is exciting. It's funny what gets you excited when you're 43 or however old I am, 44, 42, some, somewhere in there. All right, you guys, here is my new class. I just listed it last night. Um, I uploaded, I filmed the video this morning. It is the Gather Together class to go. It has six projects, three cards, three 3Ds. Um, it has a double hinged gift box or treat box. It has a candy caddy. Um, it has a uh, boozy, not hot chocolate, boozy chocolate treat, which would be a fun little, like a host gift if you're going somewhere for Thanksgiving. Um, and of course, there's four options uh, with the bundle, without the bundle. If you buy the option one with a bundle, you get the ribbon for free. And right now this ribbon is on back order. This is the come together or gather together ribbon. It's on back order. However, it's supposed to be back before the deadline of the class. So we're going to keep our fingers crossed that that works out for us. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, so option one, you actually are getting the ribbon for free. Option two, you get everything but not the bundle. Option three is PDF only. And option four is for my downline. All right, so I've listed it. It's ready for signups. October 18th is the deadline. Um, here on today's PDF, which you can find over at pinkbuckaroo.com. Um, let me turn that fan off so the camera doesn't roll. Right, pinkbuckaroo.com under the last photo, you'll find a link for this. Here's today's PDF, three projects. And over here are some of the things that I'm just gonna mention. Here's the gather together. And if you type that in, that's gonna take you right to registration and give you details and stuff. Um, what's included, pricing, you can see the video. Actually, the video is not on this one. The video is on the post on my blog that went up last night. So just go back one day and you'll find the video and on YouTube also and on Facebook. So I'm sure you'll be able to find it if you want to see the video. Okay, um, so that is for October. Now I have two other classes coming in October. One is a uh, card class, a, what I call a, a stamp a stack class using the hashtag Elfie stamp set. So that's coming next week. And then I've got another fundraiser class coming too, but that one's still, we're still working that one out. So I don't want to tell you any details on that one yet. Um, so uh, the last September class is the snowman season class to go today. Nope. Yes, today. Today is the very last day to put your order in um, to get those make and takes for free. Not the make and takes of projects. Where's that basket? I had it right here and I'm not seeing it. Am I just looking at it? <laughs> Where did it go? Oh yeah, here it is. Okay. Um, you guys have seen it. I've talked about it. Six cards. You order the bundle and the embellishment kit and I send you all six cards for free along with a bottle of snow um, puff paint. Now, 
here's a little little hiccup that we had. Um, there's a host code that, that goes with it. However, the puff paint went on low inventory at the beginning of the week. So <coughs> I closed this and ordered all the puff paint ahead of time. And I've, at, I've created a new host code. So if you haven't done this and you wanna buy it, if you wanna order this today, cause today's last day, you need to use the new host code, which is listed over there on my blog. Um, type this in right here and you'll go see the new host code. And if you can't get the host code to work, just put the order in and message me and I can get that, I can call Stampin' Up and have them put that host code on there for you, okay? Um, let's see, so I will send you these. I have started cutting. I have almost 100 of you guys have, who have ordered the kit already, so wow, thank you so much. I will give you an update next week of the total donation um, to the Alzheimer's Foundation research um, that I'm gonna donate the profits to that class to. I will give you guys an update next week, okay? Here is the exciting thing right here. Something exciting is happening. Uh, Purple Posy is a new in color. It was new in June, however, something was wrong with the ink. It was like bad. The ink just did not, it wasn't working. So Stampin' Up! pulled it before the catalog even went live. And we have not been able to order Purple Posy ink or the ink refill since the catalog went live. Well, yesterday I went on the website to do something else and I noticed the little announcement that, hello, it's in the store, ta-da. So if you've been waiting patiently or impatiently to order your Purple Posy, now it's available. So you can go over there and do that. Um, if you happen to be a demonstrator, who ordered Purple Posy during the pre-order, don't stress Stampin' Up's replacing yours for free, okay? Um, many of us, and that's how I have this one, we ordered it during pre-pre-order, way the very, very beginning when, when demonstrators could order uh, before the catalog went live, and that's how they found out the ink wasn't working is because some of us got it and we're like, whoa, something's wrong with this ink. So that's why I have it. But if you bought it that way, if you're a demonstrator and you were you took advantage of that awesome perk of ordering uh, pre-order before it goes live, um, don't worry. Stampin' Up! is replacing yours and they're just gonna automatically send it to you, okay? Okay. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Yes, I have this ugly Band-Aid on my thumb and you don't wanna even know what's underneath it because it's not pretty, <laughs> okay? Let's just say I was using my Pampered Chef mandolin slicer, you know, the one that you go like this, and exactly what you think is gonna happen is exactly what happened. So that's why I apologize. Yeah, hopefully next week it'll look a lot better. But anyways, I, I can't stand it. <sighs> oh well. All right, now, if you've never joined me for Facebook Friday before, um, welcome every week on Friday. Typically I do um, a live with three projects featuring usually typically one product. And this week, of course, like I said, we're using the Wonderfully Wicked and um, we're gonna make three projects. You can go over to pinkbuckaroo.com, get the PDF. You, the PDF, of course, is free. Um, it has the measurements that you'll need as well as any products that I use. Ooh, look, I forgot to specify what that punch is. <laughs> I type these up during volleyball practice. So sometimes I don't know um, which <laughs> tool it is and I was supposed to fix that, but we'll figure it out today and I'll correct it. But anyway, you can save it and print it, do whatever you want to it. That way you have um, the PDFs uh, for future use, okay? All right, yeah, I know guys, I know it's just, you can't even think about it. It makes my stomach turn and you know when you're slicing with that thing the whole time you're thinking, be careful. And I, it has a thing where you hold the onion, but I was in a hurry and I did my fingers instead of the thing. So yeah, learn from my mistakes. Don't <laughs> do it the wrong way because exactly what's going to happen, what you think is going to happen is exactly what's going to happen. Yeah, I um, uh, saw stars. I'll tell you that. And I think I saw stars more, more because it freaked me out that it happened than the actual blood and pain. But whatever. <laughs> Anyways, what happened to your ring on your left hand? Oh my gosh, you guys are so funny. So my wedding ring, um, the prong bent, um, the setting is so high that the prongs bend constantly because I knock it on things. I've probably in 20 years of being married, I have had to have it fixed 
probably 10 times and it costs like $200 every time to get it fixed. And this is my grandmother's ring that I wear underneath it. So um, I've stopped wearing it um, because my husband and um, I have been talking about getting a new ring simply because of that, but also because it was our 20th wedding anniversary. And so that's like a long drawn out process. So I haven't done anything yet um but that's where that ring went thank you for asking and this ring is kind of big so i hate to wear it by itself but then i hate to wear nothing you know so hmm that's what happened there i know gosh my hands tell a story don't they all right anyway facebook friday look at these guys i have i have lots of these um this is what you get here's last week look how cute the tag is i always make a little tag to put in there to go with whatever the project was. Like we used the masks, so I made a cute little uh, tag with the masks. And you get, if you put in an order by Monday at midnight using the host code, minimum $35, I send you today's projects for free. So this is kind of what it looks like. And if you ordered last week, I um, only, I usually, cut them on Tuesday, get them out on Wednesday. But this week I was completely out of ribbon. So I had to order ribbon and I had to wait. So they actually went out today. I'm sorry that they're three days late, but they went out today. Um, so it'll take you a week probably to get them. Um, but anyway, this is what you get if you put in that order. Um, you get it for free. I just mail it to you for free. And all you have to do is uh, supply the stamps and ink um, of whatever we're using that day. And I... I'm going to tell you guys, I always cut like one extra, sometimes two extras on accident, like this one, um, in case they get lost in the mail so I can replace them. And now I have a giant drawer full of these. So we need to do something with these. What do you guys think? I was thinking about prizes. I was thinking about maybe listing them for sale, although that would take a lot of work to list them each individually. Um, they're each three projects per envelope I don't know if you have an idea about that let me know because I don't want to just chunk them and throw them away because I know some people would like them um, but anyway that those are the extras um, that I have oh, that's just the extras from like the last month all right last but not least I have been a very very bad girl this month I usually send the all-star tutorial bundle out for free once a week um, and this month I forgot to do it. So I just sent it out this week. Anybody who's placed an order in September, I emailed you <laughs> earlier in the week. I don't know what happened to me. I usually do that every week, but for some some reason, September got away from me. But anyway, if you placed an order with me um, that was a $50 or more order online um, with Stampin' Up, you get this for free every month. Um, if you didn't get it, and you think you should have gotten it, let me know and I'll send it to you again. Um, about, I would say probably 5% of them end up in spam and people don't get them. And I want to make sure that you guys have um, it if you earned it. It's a really, really good one. This is also available for purchase in my PDF store for $15. New ones coming out on Tuesday for October. Um, and I'm super excited about my project for October. And I'll show you guys that next week. Okay, I'm seeing you guys say prizes, prizes, prizes. So you would want to, me to give those away as prizes, huh? But what if you don't have the bundle or the stamps that go, oh, a grab bag. That's a good idea, Maria. Hmm. They would make great prizes. Look, you, you guys, I see. Hmm. Giving me lots of ideas. All right, all right. Denise, you may have to help me get that organized. <laughs> I see my assistant Denise on there on here okay you guys let's get started let me get today's host code and this is the paper from last week where I was stamping off so it's kind of junky looking but I think it's all right let's see I got to make sure it's straight there's a delay if you've never done Facebook live there is a delay about I don't know five to eight seconds maybe here's the host code for this week any orders between now and Monday that use this host code um earn today's projects for free hey by the way you guys um there's something there's some exciting news coming next week i can't tell you about it um until next week there's some promotional type stuff coming so make sure that you're watching on tuesday all right hi terry with the volume off that's funny don't you hate it when you go to watch a video and you think your volume's off and it plays really loud somewhere and you're not supposed to be watching a video or you're like in public i hate that okay let's get started we're gonna make this this is a candy caddy um 
it holds a lot of candy. These are these these are like I don't know what you call them. Well, you know what? The girl at CVS said they're called the 100 calorie um, size. I have got these at Walmart before, and I've gotten them at CVS. This is our drugstore, and they sell them up near the register, and they're 100 calories, so they're a little bit bigger than a snack size. And I think they they kind of make um I don't know a little more fun gift. And here's a Ghirardelli one right? Two squares. So I made this so that it can kind of hold not, well, I guess you could do full size in here if you wanted to, um, or just fill it up, whatever. It holds a little bit more candy. This is going to be for somebody who's really special, right? Um, maybe your grandkids, if you take them candy, you could dress up one of these for them or a coworker or a friend or whatever. But anyway, um, that's what we're going to make first. All right. And we're going to talk about this mercury glass, which is really cool. Okay, let me get my assembly scored and let's do some scoring. Now, remember, all the measurements are right here. This one has a lot of measurements because there's two pieces that need to be scored, okay? Um, the first piece is eight by seven. Let me get my piece. Eight by seven, um, basic black. We're gonna score the long side at three and at five and the short side at two and five. Okay, now you need another piece that is four by 11. And on the short side, the four inch side, we're gonna score at half an inch and three and a half. So then turn it and score it on the long side at one, five and a half, and 10. Now here, oh, is that right? Yeah, okay, oh, suddenly that didn't look right. Oh, that's the one that's wrong right there, okay. No, no, that's right. Why does that look off? I don't know. Well, we'll find out in a minute, won't we? All right. Now, here's the thing that I ha that I have a hard time explaining in my PDFs when we do something like this. We're going to make a score line that really is just serving as um, a mark for us to show us where to cut. So you're going to take your um, scoring tool and score at three inches, but just stop right there at that horizontal line. Do that at three and at eight. Turn it over and do that again at three and eight, okay? Don't go past the horizontal score line. All right, let's put this one over here aside and let's do this one. This is the box, very easy. We're just gonna cut on the short side and I'm gonna cut that middle one at an angle. I'm gonna cut a sliver off of each square and then we're gonna do the exact same thing over here. Like that. And like that. All right, now you're gonna fold all of these up. You can use your bone folder if you'd like. And we're gonna get our adhesive, tear and tape, Tombow, or if you have any fast use left. By the way, I cleaned out my adhesive drawer today and I'm almost out. I'm getting down to the last few tear and tapes. They retired and I bought a bunch. Okay, so I've put adhesive on the outsides of those middle squares. I'm gonna fold this up and push those in. And I am going to do the adhesive on the inside of those remaining tabs and fold them around, okay? So there, you've just got a box, right? All right, now, because it's a caddy, it needs a handle. So we've got this piece. We're gonna fold it in half. And actually, before we fold it in half, let's do some trimming. We're gonna cut out the four corners. Okay, we've got rectangles in the four corners. I'm not watching your comments. Oh, Terry says, just bought at Walmart for 24 cents. You're talking about the candy, Terry? These 100 calorie candies? Yeah, Walmart, I have found them at Walmart up at the counter, but I haven't been at Walmart in a while. Those I found at CVS. Okay, now we've done that. You see how we cut out the four corners? Now fold it in half. And remember those score lines that we made? We're going to, here's the fold. We're gonna cut right there to that score line and cut that off, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing right here. Okay, now, 
this is basically what this is gonna look like. These two flaps are gonna fold out and that's gonna go down in the base of the box. And these flaps fold out and adhere to the side of the box. Does that make sense? All right, let's put these, let's adhere it in half like that. Then carefully, we're gonna put some adhesive on all six of these flaps. There we go. Now, the tricky part is to not get stuck before you're in the place where you wanna be stuck. Okay, so I'm gonna pinch these in, these side ones, and I'm gonna slide this down in here. There we go. And it should fit perfectly. Push them down and then get this centered and push those side flaps in. And there's your caddy, like a little shower caddy, you know? Cute, right? Now, we gotta, gotta make a handle, so I'm just gonna take the one inch circle punch. I'm gonna eyeball it, I'm gonna center it. Punch that out, and now we have a little handle. Easy peasy, right? Okay, now let's talk about this mercury glass, and I wanted to pull out the full sheet, so let me grab that. If you guys have not noticed this mercury glass paper, Oh, I don't know where my, I have a full one right here. If you haven't noticed this in the catalog, it's okay because <laughs> it's very hard to find. I actually was looking for the item number yesterday and had a very hard time finding it. It's acetate, so it's see-through, but then it has this silvery, you know, design on it to make it look like the old-timey mercury glass. So we have like cracked paint kind of and then like a splotchy. Really, really pretty. So it's in the holiday catalog, and if you can't find it, look on the website. <laughs> it's hard to see for some reason, I don't know why. Um, it's in the bottom left corner of one of the pages. Okay, now, oop, I hope I cut this long enough. Yes, okay, like I mentioned, the dies that come with this bundle, um, it's just two dies, the word wicked and the spider. And the wicked is designed to go with have a wicked celebration, have a wicked good time, whichever one you wanna do. We're going to do something totally different, but that's the way it was designed. And don't drop your die on the floor. All right, let's put it on here. Let's cut it out of gorgeous grape. Hi, Connie. Hi, Janie. See my downline on here today. Page 33. Thank you, Lisa. Okay, if you guys are looking for, I knew one of you would do that for me. Thank you. If you're looking, page 33. It's kind of a hidden gem. It's very interesting and unique. Something different we've never had before. All right, now I've got all kinds of pieces here. What is this? Oh yeah, <laughs> like why do I have a long white piece? This is black foil. Black foil is super cool. See how it's shiny? Um, it came out when we had the car um, suite and it's really good for Halloween too. So I've got a strip of that. I cut, I cut them at an angle. Um, and then I've got a strip of, grab my dimensionals, a strip of Gorgeous Grape Designer Series paper from the Brights stack. And we're gonna adhere this on to that strip. Go look on the PDF for those measurements. Now we're gonna take this Wicked and we're gonna get our mini black dimensionals. And let's see, put one there and one there. And one more for good measure, right there. Now let's see, because they're black, hopefully we won't even be able to see them because we are putting it right on that black paper. Hmm, I can kind of see it. Maybe we should trim it down. Hmm, next time. All right, now take your wink of Stella and let's color this with a wink of Stella. Sometimes even many dimensionals aren't skinny enough. 
but you can cut them in half very easily. All right, so Wink of Stella. Someone asked me recently what the difference between the Wink of Stella and the glitter crystal effects was. And Wink of Stella is, um, it dries flat. There's no, there's no real texture um, or dimension to it. The shimmer crystal effects dries, you know, thickly, like um, a thick line of, oh, what was the stuff called that we used to have? The glitter glue, it dries like that. All right, and it's shiny. Okay, so we've got that. Let's take our mercury glass and adhere that right there. And we're gonna take some more dimensionals, which I guess we need black here. Hmm, where am I? Well, I don't have any black big dimensionals. All right, we'll just use regular. Hello from California, Irene. Hello from Texas. Hi, Lonnie, thanks for joining me, guys. Thanks, Sarah, I love this color combo too. I think Gorgeous Grape is perfect for, I put that too far out. Gorgeous Grape is perfect for Halloween, for that Halloween purple. All right, Wicked. Now, I am going to mask off this stamp. I'm just gonna put Halloween, Wicked Halloween, okay? And this stamp says Happy Halloween, but no worries, we'll just take a post-it note and cover up the happy ink it in black and stamp it right on the whisper white easy peasy now i'm going to cut that like that at an angle we'll get a dimensional and we're going to put that right under right there all right wicked halloween now we've got this bat and the first time I did it, I um, stamped it. You know, wait a minute, why do I have this? Okay, sorry, I'm talking to myself. I'm seeing that this is in the wrong basket, that's right. Um, I stamped it in Whisper White and I didn't like that because this is really like a gray. So now, so that it'll blend in a little bit better, I'm stamping it in black on Smoky Slate. And I'm just gonna do a fussy cut around the edges, making a, a cloud, if you will, around him, leaving some of that smoky slate around the edge of him, and it'll blend right in with that mercury glass. All right, there we go. And this time I will use a mini black dimensional. The dimensionals come in a multi-pack. You get little ones and big ones. All right, there we have it. See that? Oh, you know what? It didn't stamp very well. Look at it over here. <laughs> I think my ink pad needs some ink. Hmm. I have like five of those mementos and I, <laughs> I need to set that one aside because I knew that I had one that was needing some attention it needs to be re-inked erica all right last but not least let's do i want to do more than one ribbon we're going to do that beautiful tricolor purple ribbon again and at the same time we're going to do the oh what's it called is it called organdy yeah black glitter organdy ribbon and just to kind of make that more I don't know, fancy, if you will. We're gonna tie them at the same time. I want it to have a big bow. A big, full, fancy Halloween bow. And it's hard to tie when this thing is empty. There we go. And there we go. What do you guys think? Isn't that adorable? So cute. And it fits a little more candy than normal. So those that's perfect for those special people in your life who you wanna give sweet treats to, or you could do other Halloween things. There are some really cute Halloween non-candy things right now at Target. I was just there yesterday, so you've gotta check it out. All right, 
You guys like it? I hope so. I think it's really fun. And you know what? If you're not into Halloween, you could really do this with any holiday, right? You could do a Christmas version. You could do a Valentine version, an Easter version. Just do the basic construction and just change the paper, the stamps that you're using. It really can be used for any time. Doesn't that um, mercury glass paper look really neat? It really takes on the color behind it. You're going to see that in the next project too. Okay. I love Halloween too, said the Irene. Yep, me too. I love Halloween and I don't know why. <laughs> I just love it. I love making Halloween projects. All right, let's move on to our second project. Now, I had the darndest time getting this to photograph cute like it doesn't look very cute in the pictures and I think it's really really cute I designed this specifically for these these are glow in the dark Kit Kats have you guys seen these there's some other glow in the dark candies too there were two or three different kinds glow in the dark wrapper how fun is that my kids are gonna love that so you can see here how I designed this to look like that. I wanted it to kind of look like it was glowing in the dark. So that's the look I was going for. And this slides off and you open it up and the three of them fit right in there. All right. Okay, well, let's get to work. Let's make this box. Oops, wrong way. Oh, well, I'll just leave it off for now. All right, another piece of basic black cardstock. I need to order some more. Man, I've been going through the basic black cardstock this week. By the way, if you ordered the, the Monster Bash Halloween Treats class, it went out today. So you should have it, hopefully, by Tuesday or Wednesday. Fingers crossed. You guys know how the postal service is. Okay, so basic black, six and a half by five and a half. You're going to score the long side at one and three fourths, three, four and three fourths, and six. Turn it and score the short side at one and a fourth and four and a fourth. I actually made this box in the summer for some other kind of candy and I didn't end up doing anything with it. It just sat there and sat there and sat there. So then when I was playing around with these Kit Kats, I put the Kit Kats in that box and I thought, bingo, it works perfect. All right, so I've burnished all the lines. We're gonna cut out these little rectangles right here. Here is the skinny tab that's going to be the little lip that goes in the box. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing that we did with the other one. We're going to cut all along. And let's see. Ooh, I feel a sneeze coming on. Uh oh. All right, now here's the skinny tab, right? The two squares on either side, they need to be about as fat as that guy. So we're just gonna trim them. Remember, these are just the tabs that are going inside. They don't have to look perfect. And I like to cut those corners off. Makes it a little bit easier for them to go in. All three of these tabs, okay? Glow in the dark wrappers, I know, so cute. Those will definitely be in my trick or treat basket when I'm handing out candy this year. Okay, now, one more thing. These two squares right here, just like we did on the previous box, let's cut a sliver off each side of that square. Okay, like that. And I'll set it down so you can see exactly what it looks like, okay? All right, let's put it together. Now, boy, this is very similar to the other box. Again, those middle tabs, put the adhesive on the outside. Fold up the back side, the side that has that lid, because we want the rounded edges on the front. So we're gonna put adhesive on the inside of these tabs, these uh, sides really, and fold them over. All right, now here's the true test. I liked having the, see on the edge it says glow in the dark wrapper. I, uh oh, I liked having that face up. So you could, when you open it, you could kind of see like, oh, it's fancy Halloween candy. Look at that. Perfect. All right, let's close it up. And so cute. And it's nice and solid, <laughs> like the way that it feels. All right, we're using this uh, mercury glass again. This time we're putting it on granny apple green to go after that, you know, that glow in the dark look. 
it just it amazes me how this mercury glass really takes on a different look depending on whatever color you do behind it and i saw somebody somewhere online in the last few weeks did like an ombre uh oh is this front yeah um i stuck it to granny apple green same size measurements are on the pdf they did an ombre background and then put the mercury glass over it and it was stunning. And I don't remember who or where I saw that, but it was beautiful. Okay, so there we go, little glow in the dark. Now, for the spider, I decided, let's see, where's my spider? I decided to try out our new Shimmer Black Stampin' Emboss Powder. It's, oh, well, you can see, look, it's glittery black. Yeah, we're gonna use the white on the next project. It's fantastic. All right, I'm gonna take my embossing buddy, rub right there to remove any static that might be there, and grab my Versamark, which is right here. Ink up that little spider with Versamark. Ooh, my Versamark pad has seen better days. Pour a little bit of that on there, and Oh, didn't make it all in there. Oh, you know what happens. I'm going to be wearing it now all day. All right, look, can you see? Blow off the little extras. How cute. All right, so let's get the heat tool. And it works just like regular embossing powder. Um, as soon as this gun hits the right temperature, that embossing powder will start to turn shiny. And this time, it won't just be shiny, but it'll be shiny and sparkly. Ah, there we go. It takes about, I don't know, 20 seconds maybe, 15, 20 seconds. It feels like it takes a long time to heat up. There we go. All right, what do you guys, can you see? Ooh, it's so shiny and pretty. All right. So there we've got that. Now the punch that I didn't put on the supply list is a one and a fourth inch circle punch. Oh, I hope that's not one of the circles that retired. I didn't even look. If it is, don't worry. That means we have a circle framelit that would cut it out also. Let me clean this up. We had several circle um, punches retire and I I didn't get, I didn't take them out because I use them a lot, but then I can't remember um, which ones they were. All right, now we're gonna stamp this. I wanted just a tiny little sentiment and here's the super cute stamp set that came in the September Paper Pumpkin. By the way, my Paper Pumpkin extra kits are all gone, but I, they listed them for sale in the Stampin' Up! store this week. So if you're a subscriber, you can actually go buy refills and the full kit. Somebody help me out. Have they sold out yet? Um, they are limited quantity. But uh, the Paper Pumpkin is really cute. I ordered seven extra and you guys snatched them, snatched them up really quickly. Here they are, really cute. And I really like the sentiments. I really like the... Uh, the skeletons and I want to use them I just haven't done it yet but anyway we're gonna use toxic treats very cute very cute and we're gonna use granny apple and just we're gonna stamp it oh I feel like I didn't oh no that looks good for some reason it looked like I didn't ink it well enough and let's add this here is another piece of black foil and we're gonna do, oh good. Deanna says they're still in the store. She just ordered more refills. Good, Betty, thank you for letting us know. So if you want more refills of the Paper Pumpkin Kit or the full kit that includes a stamp set, um, you can still order them in the store, but you have to actually be a subscriber. You have to sign up for Paper Pumpkin in order to have access to those previous kits. They're really good, especially if you've got to make um, class treats, you know, to take to your child's class, or you want to hand out something a little extra during Halloween, a little extra. I love when the kids bring home something that someone has done that's just, you know, a little more. All right, I'm gonna, let's see, do we want the spider up? Let's do it sideways. There we go. 
or a trunk or treat you know our church is doing a trunk or treat so maybe a trunk or treat that would be fun um, you get 20 of them in a box and they're like put them together like that super easy all right granny apple green you know the best part of stamping up is that the colors match so the granny apple green ink granny apple green cardstock and granny apple green ribbon and i want you to see this is what the woven ribbon looks like but i cut it in half see i just went up the middle of it and cut it in half so that it would be a little more narrow um, one of the reasons i like doing this as you can see is all those little fibers come out and it's kind of hairy and i love it it's a little more rustic there we go tie that around the edge of the box thanks appreciate that shannon thank you and there we go a little holder for your glow in the dark kit cats what other candy it was uh, obviously what wh whoever makes kit cat what is it mars or oh maybe it was reese's um I don't know, but they, I got them at Target and on my blog today, I linked the link for these over on Amazon. Makes it easy so you don't have to even go to the store. All right, project number two, complete. Thanks guys, I'm glad you like it. All right, now the last project. We are gonna do a little bit of casing, kind of, from the catalog. These coffin boxes are so awesome that, well, you know I had to make one with you guys. These are really fun, and these are also really great if you are gonna do mass producing, you know, because they're basically assemble. You just assemble. Um, I wanna show you in the catalog what I, how I got my idea. Remember, you guys, the catalog isn't just a catalog. It's an idea book, and it used to be called the idea book, but I think they just call it the catalog now, but look to the catalog for ideas. Um, this one right here, I loved that. And so I kind of am basing mine today off of that. It's not exactly like that, but I really liked it. Look how cute they did two different um, purples right there with the Wicked. Um, just really, really cute. I love Halloween stuff, so fun. Um, and I have been on the lookout for things to go in the coffin. And I was at Dollar Tree, thanks to Dot, is Dot on here? She sent me to the Dollar Tree and she said, you gotta go see this, there's cute stuff at Dollar Tree. But anyway, I found these, I thought these would be cute in there. Bloody Bites, Candy Fangs. Those are cute, right? And the Dollar Tree, woo woo, super cheap. I guess when you bite them, <laughs> does blood come out when you bite them? I don't know, that's gross. But, you know, the kids would like it anyway. Dollar Tree, that's what it looks like. And then I found something else. Now, unfortunately, it's too big. But I found this at World Market. And <laughs> I thought maybe, but then I brought home. Obviously, it's way too big. But look, milk chocolate, oozy red, caramel filled mood e-bars. So I guess it has red caramel on the inside. Isn't that gross? <laughs> but so fun. Super gross, but totally fun. Okay, so I just had to share that with you. It won't fit in there, but whatever, it's still cute. All right, so our coffin boxes. Let's do the coffin box first. And then we'll make the, the thing that goes on the top of it. The coffin boxes, oh, I think there's 12 in a pack and they come like this, the bottom and the top. Um, and so they're just really easy to put together. Uh, this is the top part and this is the bottom part. And we're going to um, emboss the spider web from Wonderfully Wicked on here with the other um, the shimmer, what is it called? Shimmer White Stampin' Embossing Powder. The white one, the sibling to the black one that we just did a minute ago. So let's do that. I'm gonna use my embossing buddy again to remove any of that static. And this time I'm gonna stamp in our Whisper White uh, Craft Ink. When, when you get this, you guys, it comes empty with the refill and you have to ink the pad yourself. And I don't know exactly why it comes like that. I would venture to guess is that it was leaking maybe in transit, but anyway, when you buy it, it's not, you have to look back through your catalog and find it, um, it's kind of in a different place. But I've also listed the number on the PDF for you. Um, Debbie, yes, Debbie, you're so smart. She says, will it fit the other candy holder? Yes, look, 
Perfect. How fun. And they had some other ones too. Um, world Market. If you guys have a World Market, go over there. They always have some really different things. Okay. So we're going to, why does this feel like I need, okay, no. I thought maybe it was a dirty stamp, which wouldn't surprise me. All right. We're going to stamp this spider web. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. Let's see. Hmm. My ink pad is dry. Hold, please. We're gonna we're gonna make this work just like last week, you guys. When I uh, you remember when I messed up the box last week? All right. Well, let's ink it up. Let's see. Where is? Oh, I don't want to have to look for it. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. Okay. This is. You know, we turn this into a learning opportunity, right? For those of you that have never um, inked your ink pads. So like I said, this craft pad comes um, empty. There's nothing in it. And you get the, the white ink and you have to actually squeeze it on here. And the only thing that I have found is that I don't, I either get too much ink or not enough like today's problem. Okay, now here's my bone folder and it has been used for this before. <laughs> Let's make sure it's nice and clean. I think it's just stained. Oh, I'm nervous, let's use this side. You can use a spoon, a plastic spoon, which is better, but I never have a plastic spoon available so all of my bone folders look like this. They are a mess. And my friend Ange McKay, hers, um, Hers looks like that too. Uh, yeah, Judy, you're right. It dries out fast. Maybe that's why they send us with the, the re-inker included because they know it's gonna dry out fast. All right, so then you just scrape it, smooth it around, but it, uh, keep, you know, guys, get a like a plastic spoon and just keep it with your re-inkers, okay? Okay, let's try that again. Now, we've got this problem here, but I think I think it'll work. I think it'll be all right. Let's see. Oh, now I'm nervous. <gasps> Ta-da, look at that. That's what it's supposed to look like. All right, now I'm gonna turn it because I don't want them all to be exactly the same. And right there. And we'll wipe that off. All right. Let's move these and now let's, oh no, we do need that again in a minute. Now, do I have a, yeah, let's use this. Instead of getting it all over the table, we'll get it on this paper and then we can, uh-oh. All right, if this happens, keep a paintbrush. See these little rogue pieces of embossing powder right here? Keep a little paintbrush and get them off. Because sometimes even, even when you've used your embossing buddy, you'll have some that are stubborn. All right, there we go. Now you can take your little piece of paper. There we go. All right, let's close it up before we turn on the heat tool because that would be a disaster. All right, heat tool again. We're gonna wait for it to heat up and it's gonna turn our powder into shiny, kind of a glossy stamped image. Today I um, went to Home Goods, TJ Maxx Home Goods. Do you guys have TJ Maxx Home Goods? I mean, I cannot, I, I am, it's a dangerous place for me, especially this time of the year. They get the best Halloween decorations. I went a couple of weeks ago and they had these adorable little Halloween, I don't know, like gnomes or something. They're so cute. And I bought two little ones and there was a big one that I had sent a picture to my mom showing her how cute it was. And I couldn't stop thinking about him. So I had to go back. <laughs> and luckily, they still had him. Maybe it wasn't exactly, but they had a bunch of them. So I got that. Right, what else did I get? I got something else. Halloween over there. Oh, I love home goods. 
Yeah, Judy, you're lucky because ours is very close and ours is humongous. So it's, we have one that's real close that's not real big, but then we have one kind of over by our mall that is like a superstore. Oh, it's like my favorite thing to do. If I'm going to treat myself or I'm feeling sad or something, that's where I'm going to go. <laughs> I love it. Oh, you know, I bought a shirt, bought a measuring cup. It's just a weird smorgasbord of things. Okay, put your adhesive on the little tabs. I went ahead and folded all of them and you've got all these little tabs. Now I have found, especially on these pieces that I have embossed, the fast fuse doesn't stick very well. So I think, and I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I think Tombow is a better choice here. Me and Tombow, we're a hot mess, but I think here this might be a reason to use it for sure. Um, Tombow and I make a giant mess. And with a Band-Aid on my thumb, oh, I can't even imagine what kind of mess I'd get into. All right, so there we go. There's the lid. Now the, the base. I know, Sarah, all their fall things. Today I noticed that most of their Halloween stuff had a lot less Halloween than two weeks ago, and it was all more Thanksgiving stuff. And I thought, hey, it's just the end of September. Get some more Halloween stuff. <laughs> We've still got a month. But... Um, I love to buy pumpkins, fake pumpkins <laughs> of all varieties. I think I have a pumpkin problem. Is Patty on here? Patty sent me the cutest gift this week. See what I'm doing, guys? I just put adhesive on these tabs, folding everything up into those tabs. My downline, Patty from Oklahoma, sent me the most wonderful gift this week. It was a cute little stuffed pumpkin, and then it had um, some dish towels, and one of them said, crazy pumpkin lady, and I laughed out loud, because that's me. I mean, seriously. But my daughter, my oldest, is kind of like that, too. She really loves pumpkins, too, so I think I've started, I've started her down the pumpkin road. All right, now this is a dauber. It's got a little sponge on the end, and I'm just going to kind of ink these edges a little bit, each of the little edges of the bottom and each of the little creases. Our church has a pumpkin patch every year. Uh, my kids work the pumpkin patch, it's a volunteer thing. And um, they have really neat pumpkins. They get pumpkins from New Mexico and they truck them over and they have all kinds of heirloom pumpkins and funky gourds and stuff. So yes, of course I buy some of those too. And then my husband takes them to his deer feeder after Thanksgiving and the the uh, deer have a feast. So, you know, I'm supporting the church and I'm supporting the deer. <laughs> That's how I justify it. All right, so I've inked those edges, made it a little more spooky, and my hands are very inky. All right, let's set that aside to dry. Now, actually, before, let's tie that ribbon. So where's my candy? Where did I put that candy? Let's put some candies in here. Um, Angie Judah put Red Hots in her coffin, which I thought was hilarious. That's a great idea. Mm, I think three. Um, so, you know, you could just put regular Halloween candy. Nothing says it has to be vampire themed, but makes it a little more fun. All right, now here is this beautiful black scalloped ribbon. Um, I sure hope this stays around because yes, it's with a Halloween suite, but Boy, we could use this just like the tricolor ribbon. I need to, I need to write Stampin' Up and say, please bring the tricolor ribbon and the black scallop ribbon in other colors because I love them both. All right, I love anything with a scallop. There we go. We're gonna tie that closed like that. All right, let's snip that. Snip that. There we go. All right, now let's do the wicked, wicked word. And you can see on here, I my goal was to go ombre with it. So it's ombre, orange. And we're gonna get that brayer out like we had last week. Uh-oh, where's the brayer? Oh, right here. Oh my gosh. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. All right, so this is a sponge brayer and I'm gonna get pumpkin pie and I'm gonna start at the bottom and just start working my way up. Whoa. 
And I'm gonna start at the bottom each time so that it's darker on the bottom. Annette, you like pumpkins and Halloween like I do. I love to decorate for um, for Halloween out, out in the, the front too. That sounds really cute. We had, um, there was somebody that lived in our neighborhood, they've moved, but they used to, they had cut in like a hundred of those plastic, you know, like jack lantern little trick or treat things and made, um, put lights in them and strung them up around their tree. So they were like big jack o' lantern lights. They were so cute. I imagine it was kind of a, you know, difficult to um, put those up every year, but boy, we loved them. They were so cute. Okay, let's cut our Wicked. Now you can see we've got an ombre piece here. This is when your hands start to get messy. I'm gonna put a piece of um, that black foil again. We're gonna cut our spider out of the black foil. Spider's so cute. And I'm gonna put this kind of in the middle so we've got dark to light. Now, I, ahead of time, I cut out three more wicked words. That's, that sounds weird, wicked. I cut three more wickeds <laughs> from pumpkin pie cardstock, which I'm gonna show you in a second, because I wanted this piece to be thick like chipboard, okay? So this is a little tedious, and if you don't like this, you think this is too much work, then just skip it and stay with that. But I wanna show you how to make faux chipboard, okay? So fine tip glue, and we're gonna, we're gonna make a stack of these. And maybe we only need two, we'll see. But uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna adhere these on top of each other. Let's see if I can get them on. And last, lastly, we'll put that one, that ombre one, and it'll look like chipboard. You remember the chipboard letters? Well, I know they still have them for scrapbooking. The thickers, I used to have a ton of those. In fact, I think I still have them in the attic. My daughter uses them from time to time. Although they're probably not sticky anymore being in the hot attic. But I wanted this to be thick and that die is not gonna cut, it's not gonna cut through cardboard, chipboard, it's not. So, this is the way to kind of make a faux chipboard. This is kind of, um, I need some Jeopardy music. Save the cutout and use on another card. Oh yes, I know what you're saying. Um, the the um, negative space, absolutely. That would make a fun card, wouldn't it? That ombre piece. Okay, here we go. And then we've got all of those. This one doesn't wanna stay. There we go. It's getting thicker. Can you guys tell how it looks thick? Last but not least, let me wipe my hands off. I need a hand washing station in here. <laughs> oh my goodness. I need a hand washing station, a sink in my craft room. Someday. All right, now let's take our ombre one. Now I'm gonna add a little more color to this. Um, it's not quite as dark as I wanted it on the bottom. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make it a little bit darker. Oh, I don't like getting glue all over my table. That's why I should be using grid paper. Ooh, 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 I meant to show you guys. New Christmas grid paper, if you like grid paper. Look at this fun Christmas grid paper. It's just fun. It's just one of those things, it's fun. If you're a demonstrator, these would be so fun at your class, your Christmas classes. Look, ooh, I like this side, let's use this, okay. It's available, whoa, sorry. It's available in the store. Just type in grid paper, you'll find it. It's available to everybody. Okay, now, we're gonna take our pumpkin pie. I'm gonna squeeze it a little bit so that I have some ink there. Then I'm gonna take my 
Wink of Stella. First, I'm just going to do Wink of Stella all over all of it. All right, so I did end up using three plus the one on the top to make it as thick as it is. If you have, we don't sell them anymore, but if you have the, oh, what are they called? The adhesive sheets. Um, I still have a bunch of them. That would make this a little bit easier to cut them out with those adhesive sheets behind them. All right, now I'm gonna pick up with my wink of Stella a little bit of that pumpkin pie and I'm gonna add it. Did you know that you can use your Wink of Stella as an aqua painter. I know what you're thinking. You're gonna ruin it, but guess what? Nope, it'll just run clear just like an aqua painter. And I can add a little more dark down here to the bottom of these. All right, I can't see it because of the light. Let me see, oh, that's so pretty. So see, you'll just go right there on your your scratch paper and we'll blend it up a little bit so it's kind of blending in I need a little more right there I don't even know what time it is oh Addie's riding her bike home today so she's gonna come busting in that door soon all right there we go what do you think now look just run your run your wink of Stella like this look now it's already clean ta-da it's a glitter paintbrush. So pretty. Okay, now, oh, I meant to cut out more spiders. We actually need three spiders, but that's okay. Now, what I decided to do is glue this to the ribbon, all right? So that when they untie the ribbon, those words go with the ribbon. And I'm gonna, look, I'm using Tombow, a brand new Tombow. Doesn't a new bottle of glue just feel amazing? <laughs> I know that sounds so dumb, but I have been using that same bottle of Tombow for a while and it was disgusting. I'm glad that it finally ran out. All right, where did I put the dots? Right there. Glue that to the ribbon. Now it's gonna need to sit for a while. Now, on my original box, let's look at it. I did three spiders, but I forgot. Uh, uh oh, uh oh, you guys, you didn't tell me. Close your, close your fine tip glue. Okay, Whew. if you leave it open too long, it seriously dries and it ruins it, clogs that, that little needle up. Okay, so we'll just do one spider for today, but look, if you're gonna make these, put a spider, put a foil spider on all of your spider webs because it's so cute. And there we have it. Those are those would be really good party favorites. See how this one keeps popping up? I think that needs Tombow. Um, these would make really great party favors, right? If you were having a party. And I didn't put the other words. You could put Halloween like we did the other one, but I think Wicked by itself is just fine. Okay, you guys, what do you think? So cute, right? This bundle is only $29.50. The minimum order to get the projects for free is $35. So if you're gonna buy this and you want the projects for free, you're gonna need to add on something. Maybe the black dimensionals, maybe the embossing powder, something to get you to at least $35. Um, or you know what? Order whatever you want. Oh no, U UPS, <laughs> get ready. He's gonna go crazy. Oh, here he comes. Go outside, Charlie, go outside. Anyways, guys, here is here are the three projects we made today. I hope you like them. Um, if you have questions, let me know. Make sure to go over to pinkbuckaroo.com and get the PDF. It's got everything you need um, for these projects. Oh, and I forgot to mention that we still, till Monday, that designer series paper sale, buy three, get one free. Um, it does not include a holiday paper. It's only um, a selection of annual catalog paper, but it's a great time to stock up. Okay, you guys, we did it. We made it. We're done. Have a great weekend. I will be back next Friday, same time, 2 o'clock, with um, some Halloween, some fall, and some Christmas. I've already got them planned. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Thanks. Bye.